Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Van Leuven and today we are looking through this journal, which I have a video on this channel that's a flip through. It's not of all of it, it's just of part of it because I wasn't finished at that time and I didn't talk through it. I realized that I really like talk through flip throughs, so I'm going to start from the beginning and then you'll get to see the new pages that I have finished more recently. And underneath I have my newest journal, which is super exciting. Just wanted to show you guys so this one's a little bigger and i'm already like kind of far i'm just impressed with myself so look out for this flip through in the future let's dive into this one okay i just made myself some whipped coffee for this video i've been making it almost every day in the afternoon it's kind of just my afternoon drink now let's dive into this one so you've seen just like about the first half or more than half of this already. So I'll try to keep this quick. This postcard is from like a sticker pack. It's not staying very well. I had an opening page and there was kind of a theme going on with like this icy teal blue color. As you can see, it matches the cover. I just went along with it. I don't know. There's Ice Bear because I am Ice Bear. This journal was started on January 22nd, 2020 and I finished it on May 6th. 2020. This journal took me about three months, which is my usual for journals now. Okay, I made a welcome page talking about this journal because I had never had this type of journal before. And I did a page similar to this in my new journal as well. I started with some manifesting stuff. This was a haul. I was working on my room and I got some pictures because, well, this, it was snowing and then this, it was, I was actually in a hotel, which this was the day I was packing and I had like a little to-do list. This was like a fun little exercise, like kind of finding my niche, I guess. Another picture. And then this day is pretty personal. This whole trip was kind of really personal, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but we have some more pictures in our seat and more pictures. Yeah, this was when I went to Daiso for the very first time and it was very exciting and we got boba from a place next door and it was literally the best boba I've ever had. Oh yeah, this was like a haul of my stuff. I was actually going to do a haul on this channel and I filmed it and stuff but I just never uploaded it. So this was just another day on the same trip. We were road tripping back so... I got some new stationery because, like I said, I went to Daiso for the first time. So I put some washi tape samples here along with these. This set I got from Amazon, by the way. Some sticker and stamp samples and whatnot. I like the look of this page. And this was just my Ichiban packaging. Random page. This was a kind of a study plan. I have a study plan video on my channel right now. I realize that's actually something that helps me. Random day. Continuation of that day, I believe. What happened was I brought my journal to school for a day and my friend during math class like filled out a page. I really like this one and stuff. This is just a day. Nice light declutter because why not? This was my coffee thing. Just another day. This one was pretty plain. Mm, random writing. We're just going to put this here. And now you can see how small this journal is. But later on, I added tabs to separate each of the months. So I can kind of visually see where each month are. Like, it just makes it more clear. This entry is also personal. All of them are personal. But this one's really sad. <laughs> I have a receipt. I love putting in receipts. And this post note is actually from one of my therapy appointments, so I like how I included that. Here I peeled off the sticker from my bagel from Starbucks, and I like the like stickers and stuff in this page. I have a monthly stamp, and so I used it for February, and I made this cute like pink fun theme, and I and I also did this weekly spread and this is glued down here so it just opens like that. This was a day. I like this design. This I was planning stuff. This was my sophomore dance. Really did not want to go to this but I went anyway. So I have some really cute stickers from the ice cream shop we went to and I overall really love this spread just because it's so cute. This was like the photo booth and I love that washi tape. Underneath I kind of dive into my real experience. I included my little boba sticker. I included like part of it and some receipts and some pictures. 
home. And this picture on the back of the receipt. This, I got this reusable boba cup on Amazon. This flips up. This is what they look like. They're so great because I feel like it's so hard to find reusable boba straws for some reason. And these like come with a nice cup and stuff. So that's what I bring to get boba when the place is open and when we're allowed to use reusable cups at places. <laughs> This was Nordstrom Rack haul. I love Nordstrom Rack. Just a random day. More random days. Most of these are going to be random days. Some days I'll like include pictures. Oh, that was a long day. And I made this little design myself. Here is a book list of books I was wanting to read. And I got to use my book washi tape with my cats reading it. Oh yeah, this was another study plan. Let me know if you guys like those videos because they're really helpful for me. Even though now it's about to be summer, so now's not the time for me to make those, but still. This is just a quote. Wake up with determination, go to bed with satisfaction. I just really like that, and so I made a page about it. Most of these are just random days. But you can kind of see the decorations, and here's Galentine's Day and the receipt from the Chinese food we got. I combined two days here. I try to do every day, so when I like was a little behind, I just combined some days because I still wanted to talk about them. This was just a random day. Sometimes I like try to title them a bit. And this day, as you can see, there's bullet points because I didn't want to just like write everything out because I was kind of lazy. And I mean, I still end up writing a lot, but I was just trying to recap it in bullet points so I wasn't pressured to write a ton in full sentences and stuff. So that's a tip if, you know, that's useful to you. We have a receipt. You know, I love receipts. So this day I did a quick recap on a post-it note because up here I was saying that I didn't have enough time to write a ton put a sticker and stuff and i did a little homework planner because i was going to denver and this opened like that and this one opens like this and this is kind of my denver spread so I put my little train pass thing here because like it's honestly so cute like i love keeping things like this like i kept my metro card when i went to new york but like this one is just so pretty i don't know it's just cool and i got to use like my arrival and departure washi tape which was exciting and this is actually my sister's washi tape this was one of the days when i was with her i added a lot of pictures and here's a little tip i took clear packaging say from like a sticker pack or something and instead of throwing that out i used it as a little way to put these invisible pages on it and that way i have these floating pictures over my text and i love the stickers that i used it was from some etsy shop i'm not sure which one i'll link it down below if i remember this was like a specific place we went to at the donut shop that we went to they had a photo booth so this is really cute and i actually have a vlog of my stay at Denver so I will put a little i-card or link it down below or something then this was Sunday and I put a little picture I was still in Denver you don't need to talk about this is my mom's birthday I put a picture so my dog we were going to pick up food and my dog was in a little raincoat and it was so cute this one I did a little at the moment I don't know why I titled it that goes on a Thursday anyway looking to tomorrow i don't know a more exciting title than usual a fun day i know exactly what day this is well kind of but i went to my favorite place so this was some kind of crisis i don't even know this was a sunday i was with my friend kate and we went to einstein bagels and this was the start of a new month so now we go into march i saw a monkey at ikea i know it's crazy here's a jenny's napkin just a random day. Added some stuff at the bottom. Here I used some fun lettering stickers. For some reason, I have a really hard time finding cute letter stickers. So let me know cute places that you found. I just ordered some off the Etsy, so I'm excited about those. I added this little extra page of a different type of paper, but it was super thin. This one I did like a little bit of an ombre effect on the letters, and I love when I do that. This was like a card, like a little, I don't even know like what they are for or whatever but my mom had them and I still have a couple that i can use i really like the spread i don't know i just like all the details and stuff this was from nordstrom rack i guess i went there let's make this quick yeah some days i'm just in a rush to like write things down but i still want to journal you know we got some receipts i remember there's a lot of people in town for these receipts i also like this spread i put 
tissue paper as the background and then like put another piece of paper over top to write on this is dark just lots of writing most of my journals are just a ton of writing but i love this cat sticker and this sticker i think i got both of those stickers at cw sticker enterprise i called it this in my last one it's actually cw pencil enterprise but i freaking love their sticker section and they call it cw sticker enterprise i don't know it's weird but it's cw pencil enterprise but they're in new york and i'm obsessed more days friday monday i guess i missed some days goes on this is another page i like just with like the stickers and stuff and how i use this graph paper over top this was just some fun things to do oh okay so this was the first day of online school i guess and then this was me brainstorming things to do i guess this was three days into quarantine. Oh my gosh. Ways I like to relax. Just like one of those fun spreads I was trying doing. And then we go into April. I was trying to plan out my dream tiny house. Now I have one of these in both of my journals, like my first two journals. Wow, now I'm gonna need to do on my new journal, which I was actually already wanting to do that with already forgetting these spreads. Can you see that I am obsessed with tiny houses? Because I just am. I'm obsessed with tiny houses. Then we have my Japanese study plan that I made. Just, I love this sticker with the gold tape. Just, yes. Here I was starting to talk about quarantine life, and I love this sticker. These are two tomatoes. This was from a Cinnamon Toast Crunch box, and I thought this was so freaking cute. Love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Just some days, like, random jotting things down. I did an update about this journal. I was just talking about, like, this type of journal and how I was like, I don't think this is working for me. I was just really starting to get uninspired, I think. Even though, let's see. I think from here, I was starting to really push myself to decorate and have fun with it. But, yeah, it was still declining. Oh, what a great title. <laughs> Oh, this I was actually talking about a skincare brand. It was a clean skincare brand, and I was like, wait, why is nobody talking about this? But I think it's just because it sucks, so I don't know. Ooh, these pages are cute. Oh, I like how I started this one. I said two things that changed today. They both changed my day positively, but I think that was a cool way to start journaling about that day. Here was a poetry sim. It was an online version because we were supposed to have it at school. This was just a thing i was talking about this was my coffee spread that i think this is where i left off last flip through of this journal and i was talking about coffee it's not fully finished like there's nothing under here zoom this is a really funny picture of my friend i did a little thing about my room didn't really finish that oops yeah i need to work on my room get some more stuff I tried doing a letter to someone, so I just taped it in here. And then I did write something a little about this letter that I didn't really finish. These stickers were from the corn on the cob that we ate that night. And actually below here, like, I don't want to reveal it because they'll know who they are. But I copied text and, like, you can kind of see it. And the text was just something that made me happy, so I put it in here. This was when my mom started making bagels. They're so good. Love my mom. And this is a picture of my sister and our dog on a swing and i put a sticker of someone struggling in school because that is accurate this was another day and here's my brother with my cat on a swinging bench i love this so much my friend from school sent me a letter in the mail i don't even know how she got my address but it made me so happy and i put her name at the top so thanks megan i love you it was literally the sweetest thing and i decorated it like this so I used Rainbow Holic's printouts for spreads, and this was one of them, and it was called Quarantine Days. She titled it, and there are some of her graphics around, and I just talked about them. We got Thursday and Friday, and I included my tea. Then I literally just, I'm, I'm not even gonna undo it, it's literally just my to-do list. I planned out my day in order of what I want to do, and I just followed it. I don't know. For some reason, it worked that day. Here is just a really random thing about panda puffs, because I ate the last of the panda puffs, and I really don't know when I'll have panda puffs again, because it's really hard to go to Trader Joe's right now. This is when my friends and I started watching Pose. Oh my god, this show is so good. Like I said, A++. You've got to watch it now. And here's some ramen, because apparently I ate ramen. Also, with this show, I'm thinking about doing a journaling spread and a journal with me about this show. So stay tuned. Here's a sneak peek into that journal with me. Then we just have another day, I guess. 
I made another quote page and I think it was because I was really wanting this to end. That's why I kind of did the panda puffs thing and stuff. I was just really wanting this journal to end. You know, I wasn't digging it. I don't know. It just didn't end up working for me. But here's a quote and I do like how this turned out. When you focus on the good, the good gets better. Remember that. Just another day and I try to make another list. I didn't follow this one as well, but you know, this is the evolution of Kate's, aka the Kate evolution. You know what? My friend made me do this because he did one of the evolutions of himself. So there you go. This was a random photo booth photo I found and it honestly makes me uncomfortable because it's like with like people from my elementary school and that makes me uncomfortable. The spread was a Starbucks excursion. It was the first time we went to Starbucks in a while. I included photos. I don't know. It was fun. We hadn't done that in a while. We hadn't really left the house and done things. You know, that's exciting for these times. This is what exciting is now. Here's another day. As you can see, I was really filling up those pages. A random day. Then I started doing a days till summer. I need to mark off some of these days though. And today's the 14th, but we might as well cross it off now because I've already gotten through the school day. I'm getting so close. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is actually really exciting. So first of all, this was just a random day, but then at the bottom here, guys, we made it to 110 subscribers on May 1st. That was so freaking exciting for me. And you know, we've grown more since then. We're like past 130 now. And like, I know that's not a lot for most people, but like that's freaking insane for me. Finally Friday. I mean, who can't relate to you? all pink theme why not we go into may this was may my animal crossing journal spread go check out that video if you want to see this see what's in here and stuff you know as it goes on to here um i actually really liked this little spread thing i don't know it was just fun it's a uh, packages i'm waiting for i've gotten all of these except for number one because aliexpress doesn't do that it's not gonna come for a long time and i should have processed that and realized that but i didn't i didn't think about it oh Oh my god, this was when my All Things Lily and stickers came in. This was so exciting. And it was actually Saturday. I crossed it out and said more like Sunday. So I did not make a mistake. I was just making a point. And the reason it was more like a uh, Sunday was because I had homework due on Saturday night at midnight. I love this page. I don't know why, but video stuff, you know, I'm obsessed with that kind of stuff. This was a random day. Put stamps in the background. I don't know, just a fun detail. And it continues on the back. I mostly continued because these stamps go through the page, so it kind of unifies both the pages, so might as well keep going for that day. I had a Sunday work day. This was kind of like a study plan for me. Here I did another recap. Oh my god, I love the text for this for my Monday recap. This page, wow, this page is good. Here, we went to Starbucks again. I put it on a little piece of paper make it all fancy and I actually did kind of the same thing but with blank paper over top and I did a to-do list. Then I have a subscriber count for May. I still have to use this journal because I have to go back and fill this out but guys this is so exciting. Well, look at this. My channel has never grown this fast at all. Like never. Like this is fast for me. I wanted to leave them blank in the top in case I ever took this out of this journal. Then we got this little extra page. This is what I mean when I was really just tired of this journal. Like I cut out pages like this just to get rid of pages and this was just pretty packaging like this isn't even mine my mom got this bronzer it's supposed to smell like coffee first of all it does not it doesn't smell like coffee she got it from target and i was like this packaging is really pretty see oh an after therapy update we're not talking about that here we have you know some produce stickers i got this idea from gabriella i'll link her channel down below i really like her flip throughs and stuff and all her videos so this page kind of reminds me of her channel I took some of like the extra curve out of the, like this is the curve that I cut out of that other page, this. So I stuck it on here for some decoration. I did another one of these things because, you know, what I said earlier. I just knocked my camera over. It's fine. This is a quote from Avatar from Uncle Iroh. It says, you must never give into despair. Allow yourself to slip down that road and you surrender to your lowest instincts in the darkest times. Hope is something you give yourself. That is the meaning of inner strength. That was Uncle Iroh. He has some great wisdom. I tried doing a six ring verse, I guess, composition comparison 
person so if you guys want a video on that i will gladly do it i was just trying to i don't know compare the two i know which one i like better it is the composition type i don't know it just works best for me and it's different for everyone then i did an in conclusion page because this journal was done and i wasn't going to fill out the extra pages properly so goodbye journal number two i'm tired of you honestly which is accurate and that was it i still have these dividers in the back because they're kind of useless to me i don't want to like put them in my journal i don't know we just keep them in the back so that is it for this journal. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you took some inspiration. Overall, this journal didn't end up working out for me. I didn't like the six ring binder or at least the six ring binder with these small pages because I like that A6 size, but mm, I don't know, not with the six ring because it takes up more space. And also another thing, I think this type of journal would have been more enjoyable if I had a proper hole puncher. I didn't have a hole puncher so if i put things like in the rings i literally just jabbed them in or i just didn't put things in the rings i don't know it would have been nice to have a hole puncher so that i could have put washi tapes over the holes and then cut them out this just isn't my thing this is my thing right here i don't know there's something about this and the beautiful red pages. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video like a little bit. <laughs> Comment down below what kind of videos you want me to make because I'll make them most likely. And I will see you guys in my next video.